Okay, welcome to PGTV. I'm here fishing the Summersley Estate on the Hampshire Avon. We're targeting the Atlantic Salmon. I'm here with a friend of mine, Bob Windsor, who's come down for three days. We're fishing together. This is the pool I want to fish. It's just down from Woodside. It's a cracking, beautiful bit of water. I've caught lots of sea trout here. And I'm going to try my, it's now spinning season, I'm now trying the flying sea. You can see there it's got a yellow body and it's got a MEPS 3 on it. I think it's fantastic. It's caught me a lot of fish over, over the years. Attached to that, I've got uh, two feet of 18 pound maxima, as you can see here. And that's to give it the effect of fishing um, almost like a fluorocarbon. The fish won't see the line. It's very, very effective. Attached to that, I've got a 40 pound class swivel. As you can see, it's a carp swivel produced by Corder, carp fisherman. And then attached to that, this is the secret tip to get the spinner down on fast water, I've got two feet of heavy 45 pound lead core, that is the heaviest lead core I could get hold of from uh, Avon Tackle in Ringwood. And Martine in there is very helpful, pop in there, she'll sort you out. Attached to that, I've got 30 pound of braid, which is very good for working the water. I'm fishing my salmon rod, so we've got a northwestern sealy, and I've got a carbon fiber, it's medium spinning rod, and it's lovely. The action on it is absolutely superb. It's sensitive, but it's beefy. And also I'm fishing with a thick spool reel packed with lots of line in case the fish runs. And you can see there, that's got six bearing weight on it. And that's the setup. And this is an M40. I picked it up for about 50 quid. And it's a lovely reel. It's had plenty of salmon. So that's what we're after today, is we're after that Atlantic salmon. I'll show you how I'm gonna present it. We've upstreamed the MEPS, we've downstreamed the MEPS and we've um, had lots of fish on both techniques. Today I feel inspired to go for a downstream effect where we're gonna present the MEPS down and we're gonna hold it on the dangle. And the idea here is it gives the salmon or the sea trout a chance to swing round and hit your spinner. Sometimes people work the spinner too fast and I think with the dangle, and I'll show you how it works, it gives any big boy to come up and hit it. So I'll show you how it's done. Right, so the dangle, you just hold the rod up, let the current work. The leg core keeps the spinner in the right position and you wait for the salmon or the sea trout to hit that. So that's the technique. And there's a lovely fast bit of glide here. It's really nice water. So we can go down a bit closer. I'm chest wading in about two or three feet of water here. I'm just working that spinner through. I'll show you in the water what it looks like. You see how effective they are. Look at it vibrating. It's a real vibrator, can you see that? It's a flying condom lure. Hopefully you're getting these images. You can see the current's working at a tree. There we go, that's the setup. So let's cast out to the hot spot. Now the hot spot is literally just there. Right on the money, that's the hot spot, that's the lie. Now all I'm doing now is, is holding the rod up high. And by holding the rod up high, I'm allowing the MEPS to stay above the weed bed. And I'm just letting it drift across the river slowly to give the fish a chance to see it and hit it. And that's what I'm doing, it's slow movement. So slow movement, just reeling in, reeling it in. And that's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And just working it through and slow retrieve, slow retrieve. And we just work our way down until we make contact with the fish. We're in, oh. Something just hit that, you see that? Something is just hitting that, so we're gonna go again, so. Now it could be a salmon, sometimes they touch it with their noses. So we're gonna go again to the hot spot. There she is, that's the hot spot. Now keep the rod up and just let it work and we're gonna work it back. So that's the downstream mepsing, which I love. I think it's fantastic. Bob's fishing the fly rod today, so he's round on Harbridge Corner. Cool. I'm going to work my way down to Bobby 
a wood strike. I'm just going to work this pool first to see whether we can get any salmon lying on this fast gravel bed. It's very nice. Just got to get it working correctly. So away we go again. So it's far bank. And then just working it around. Working it around. That's lovely. It's a nice gravel bar through here. So we're going to work our way around and try to get on that far bank. <laughs> Lovely, absolutely peachy perfect, peach perfect. I'm just letting that work itself around now, working it around into the taking spot. Just working it back. There's got to be a sea trout lying up here, surely if not a brownie. So that's the fly I'm using. Just a little bit of weed on there, so we go again. This time towards the <laughs> tree, and we're going to hold it up and work it on the curve. That's what we're doing, working it on the curve. And just working it slowly, letting the river do the business. Letting it do the business. There's a little drop off here. So we're going to work it back this way. And then we're going to go tight to that tree line again. So that is looking beautiful, absolutely. And again. Lovely. And we've got swans eating all the weed coming through here. That's lovely. Working it back. Working it back. And then we'll go tight on that right hand bank. We're working all the opportunities. There we go and then just hold it there and let the current work it through just keeping it working look we're in we're into a fish fish on well how about that brothers and sisters and it's a good one as well fish on bob fish on bob bob it's a nice fish as well it's fighting like a dog i'm not sure what it is i'm waiting until we get his head up but it feels like a big fish it could be a salmon running like a look at it go look at it go brothers and sisters it's a good fish on now i literally held it on the dangle there did you see the technique i had there ha just hold it on the dangle so i'm not sure if bob's going to come and join me but this is a decent fish it's fighting like a dog so we're going to work it through it's fast current here so patience 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 now i might just come over and work it from an angle it feels like a good fish i've got it on the flying sea it's either a big trout or a small salmon and we'll find out it might even be a pike there's always a chance the pike do actually move into fast water now let's have a look at the fish coming towards us it's lovely if it's a salmon it's powerful it's staying low off it goes it's running it's running it's coming i'm walking the dog now i'm walking the dog there he goes is it a salmon or is it a pike it's fighting so hard Let's just see what we've got here. Look at it go, it's taking line, it's, it's, oh I'm in, it's, it looks like it's a salmon, I think it might be a salmon, it's going, it's running. Oh, it's fighting well, I've got his head up, it's a big fish, I can see that, I don't know how big it is, but it's a biggie. Took the flying sea, I can hear Bob calling me, he might be into a fish as well. He's coming up. Alright, let's have a look at it, is it a pike? If it is, and that's fast water, I'd be surprised, but it may be. Let's get his head up. Here he comes, here he comes. Let's have a look at him. Let's have a look at him. He's coming towards us, brothers and sisters. Now, as we get up, let's have a look at him. What have we got here? What have we got? I think it's a pike, but I can't see it. He's... I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure, Bob. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's a salmon. I think it's a salmon. Yeah, it's a salmon. A big sea trout! A big sea trout! It's a big sea trout! Bob, can I have the net? It's a, it's a salmon! It's a salmon! The net's right here! We've got another salmon! Can you bring it to me? It's a salmon! Let's have a look at her. In the water now. It's fighting like a dog. It's either a sea trout or salmon. I've seen spots on it, but he's not 
There he is, it's a big fish. There he is, look, there he is. Oh, what a fish. I don't know if you're getting this, but I can see him with the polarized glasses. And it looks like a salmon to me. 10 pound salmon. Can you back up? Yeah, if you can, have you got chest waders or not? No. Right, I'm gonna gently back up. I, got, I can't lose this fish, Bob. I'm gonna back up, just wait, just wait. Bob, just wait a second, yeah? I've got to keep him, I've got to keep that tension on. Now just wait a second. Right, I'm gonna just gently ease up a bit. Now if you pass me the landing, is it open, is it open to go? Right, this is a very good fish. It's either a big sea trout or a small salmon of about 10. Right. You're going to get below it. Should we get up on the bank? I'm going to try, it's very fast flow, but look. Yeah, it's alright. Just keep going on a tight line. I'm, try, I'm trying to. Line. Yeah. I don't know if you want to get the other camera going. Um, side angle. Do you know how to work it? It'd be nice to get some side shots and then landing it. What about this? What about this, eh? Now, this is the first time I've had a salmon or a big sea trout on this pool. I've had. I've had small sea trout and I've had brownies here. I've never had a salmon, but I've always fancied the salmon lie here. And he took that on the dangle, on the dangle. Now, I've got to be so careful here. He's just definitely, definitely holding his ground. I'm giving him some side strain, but he's just definitely holding his ground. So let's try and get his head up. I think it's a salmon looking at it. But if it's a big sea trout, I'm going to be a happy bunny. Now, I'm just alongside him. So he might just take off. I'm walking the dog a little bit here. Just look at the bend on this rod. It's a beauty. It's a beautiful fish. Just trying to hold on to him. So just take up some line. Just try and walk him towards us. Now, I don't know, Bob, you've got the record button on. Are you, reco are you recording? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got a bend and a half on it. It's a good fish. Well, come up on the bank. I think it's a salmon. He's just holding it, he's just holding it. Now we're not going to rush him. So we've got robust tackle here. We've got 30 pound braid. We've got 30, 45 pound leg core on here, two feet of. We've got 18 pound maxima. And all he's doing is sitting in the flow. Sitting in the flow. Sitting in the flow. I've got his head up. He's coming up. He's just sitting there, giving it some side strain. This is a powerful, powerful fish. I'm just going to try and get his head up. I can see him. There he is. He's gone into some weed. Oh, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving. He's coming towards us. Oh, look at that. I think it's a sea trout. I think it's a good sea trout. Oh, he's, he's just moved up into the weed. Look, he's just... Back, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh! It's alright, I've got the clutch, I've got the clutch. Yeah. Right, here we go. I'm bringing him in, Bob. There's the net. I'm going to bring him in. If you get behind him... Oh, he's fighting. He's going. He's going. Look at him go. Look at him go. I've almost got his head up. This is a big sea trout, I think. A very, very big sea trout. Back up. Come back right. so I've got no chance Bob, one. I've got to go with the fish, mate. I know, I know you want to land it, but just be patient. I've got to go with the fish. Yeah, I know that. So just be patient, and I'll take it. Take my time. All right, just wait a second. Okay, here we go. This is a very, very powerful fish. I'm not going to rush him. I'm just going to... No. Here he comes, here he comes. He's coming towards us, right. It looks like a salmon, actually. It looks like a salmon. Now, oh. Now, Bob, that's why I'm saying if you had your chest waders now, it wouldn't be a problem. Right. Here he is, here he is. Oh, look at him, he's shaking, he's shaking. Is it a salmon or is it a sea trout? I don't know about that. I think it could be a. I, you think it's a salmon? Here we go, here we go, he's coming up. It's a sea trout. Look at it, it's a beautiful sea trout. It's a beautiful sea trout. It's a sea trout in about. Eight pound class, and it's fighting like a dog. 
Right, we've got a big sea trout, ladies and gentlemen, here. A biggie. Right, I'm coming in. Here he comes. Just look at this fish. Right, can you net him for me? Look, he's ours. Hold him there in the water. Leave him in the water. Oh, it's the biggest sea trout I've had on the estate. It's a fish getting close to. Let's have a look at him. Bigger than that. I would go seven or eight even. I'm so pleased, Bob. Thanks for landing it. What can I say, mate? I knew it wasn't a, sa a salmon because when I saw his spots, I thought this is a beautiful sea trout. Now, he liked that flying sea. I'm very, very pleased. Now, I didn't expect the sea trout be to be running this early, to be honest with you. No. Did you? All right, we'll just let him rest there a second. He's taken that right in. So, we're gonna, is, is it a henfish? And so what we'll do, we've got to just carefully, I'm going to try and unhook him in the water if I can. But that is an absolute beauty. Look at it. Just look at it. That has got sea lice on it as well. Let's have a look at the sea lice. I think it's got sea lice. So we'll just keep him heading up there. Now, pound for pound, he put a great fight up. Really good fight. Now, I can see the hooking. Let's try and get the hooks out. And this is just trying to get the hooks out here. I've almost got them out. There we go. Just one more to come out. He's out. So we've got the hooks out. Let me take that out of the way. What a top spinner that is. I want to just rest him for a bit. And then we're going to get some stunning photography. I'll tell you what, that is... Just a, just a... Now look, ladies and gentlemen, that is not off, far off, eight pound, nine pound sea trout, I would say. And it's a beauty. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I got in there. Well, let's, let's, let, let's recover it first. And before we start looking at it, let, let's recover it. I'll tell you what, that is a stunner. What sort of shape do you have? Aggressive. On the dangle. You know what I, I knew I knew it would be working. It, yeah. it was on the dangle. Yeah. And uh, I held it there for about three seconds. And what it did is it actually took it. I'll just hold his head down. Can we give him a bit more net? Give me a bit more net. Oh, look, he's, he's powerful, isn't he? He's well recovered already. Yeah. We brought him in quite quickly, but I want to hold on to him for a bit and take some photography. I am absolutely chuffed with this. We'll weigh it and we'll measure it. Have you got your measuring stick? Have you got your measure? There we go, let him rest and tuck in there. Oh, Bill, uh, Bob, I'm so pleased. This is an absolute beauty, eh? I'm so pleased with this. Oh. That is an absolute beauty. I'm gonna recover him. Yeah, he's, he's strong. I mean, sea trout fight harder than... Because I, I knew it was a sea trout by the, the shape of the tail as well. And we'll show the audience the, um, the tail. I'll show you now. Keep his head down. Now just look, compared to a salmon, you've got much squarer shape to him, haven't you? So, if I show you the squareness of the tail, just look at that. That's so different to a, so different to a salmon, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I looked at his speckles. So look at the speckles on him. Yeah. That has got to be a top, perfect conditioned, top sea trout running the Somersley estate. And we were in the right position at the right time for that. You know, I just had a feeling there could be a sea trout here. I wasn't sure if it was a salmon water, but I was pretty certain it was a trout water. It's got all the makings of it. You've got the gravel bed all the way through here. You've got the probably two or three feet of water and it's a clean gravel bed and they love it they absolutely love it but i'm I, i'm at, where are we now may the may the 16th my mum's, my mum's birthday your mum's birthday but bob everyone's telling me the sea trout run in june july but they're running early aren't they what do you think sorry yeah he came in on the high tide i think he had some sea lice i saw some sea lice on it let's have a look at it let me have a look at it i thought i saw some sea lice Hang on. Yeah, there they are. Look, you can see them on there. Well, you can see the markings. They've come off, but you can see the markings of the sea lice. See it on that side? Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. How many have you got on there? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven or eight sea lice marks on there. That is only two or three days in. I promise you that, brothers and sisters, that has not been in the system very long. Let me have a look at the side, the side of it now. So what I'd like you to do, Bob, can you hold that net straight for me there? If you can get down and hold that, we'll get some nice little side shots of this fish and that'll just hold his head so if you hold that 
have a look at him. I mean, it's a big boy. That is actually, a, I reckon that's seven to eight pound class. What is my guess? Seven to eight pound class. Small. This is a good, I told you, didn't I tell you we we're gonna have a decent fish today? And I was just about to think about changing them on my flying C, and I'm glad I didn't. I've got, I've got a spare one in there for you if you want to put it on the spin rod. But it's oh, a you yellow. Fly again, by the way. Yeah, you haven't lost it, have you? <laughs> you lost it? I know, I'm sick. Oh, I might get in with the chest waves and get it for you because it's my Alistair, darling. Right. No? Oh. Up. Okay. But I've got to let um, John know because it's about. Hello. Sort of lying. Okay. And she's resting and she's recovering really well. Now, do you want to get out and get a picture of it with your spike? I want a picture. What I'm going to do with this fish is I'm going to keep it in the water for the whole duration. I'm not even going to bring it out on the bank. It's a bit like when you returned your salmon. Yeah, there's no issue. Uh, there's no point now. I've got the fish, I've got the hook out in the water. Yeah. This is, let's, 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 let's use this as a training video. Don't take the fish out of the water unless you really have to. There's no point to. I can get some stunning pictures in the water. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, that, isn't it? And I think, I've never seen a sea trout with such pretty markings, have you? No. Look at the spots on it. What I will do is, have you got your tape measure? What we'll do then, what we'll do, my idea, is I've got a built-in set of scales in the net. We can weigh it in the water and just pull it out for a split second. Leg core, let's use the leg core and measure it when we get back. That leg core is about, what, two feet long? And what I'll do, Bob, I'll ask you to use that camera, zoom in on the fish when I return it, I want to have some lovely side shots, so... You, you, you take it on the top and I'll take it on the tail. So we use the leg core. We're going to use the leg core to measure this fish. I'm not sure what are the proportions with sea trout compared to salmon. Because I haven't seen the dimensions on a sea trout lengthwise. We'll have to work that one out. But John Lavelle, he's going to be as happy as punch when I tell him about this. And do you know what, brothers and sisters? He's got it on its right on its right on its nose. His nose is right up there. Get on his nose. You got him. So get him on there. Right on his nose. I'll get on his tail. It's not long enough. It's more than two feet. So that's 24 inches, and there's another probably three, three inches, 27 inches, I'd say. 27, 27 to 28 inches sea trout, which I'm guessing would be somewhere seven to eight pounds. But I've got scales. We'll wear it. If we need to Let's have a look at it. Have a look. Let's have a look at him. There it is. So I'll show you the side profile. Isn't that a lovely silver bar? Isn't he beautiful? Is his mouth? Is it a, a is it a hen? Do you think so? That's got a kite on it. Look, I think that's a yeah, cock. That's a cockfish. No, I've reckoned that. Stage. Any hen, you look at a hen fish. It's got a little tiny kite on it on the bottom right. lip. Okay. It's, it's, it becomes more extended on the cockfish. Right. I'll we'll let that recover. You think it's a hen? I think it's a cock, and I think John will confirm. No, but but, John, but Paul, you think, if right. you look at any fish, they, they've all got that little tiny kite on there. I promise you. Actually, looking at it, that could be a hen looking at it. Yeah, it's it's a small kite. It's, it's a small kite, yeah. Yeah, it's got a very short mouth. Okay. And got that long beak. I'm so pleased with this fish. I just had a feeling it was a big sea trout. So I've had him up to three pounds, four pounds here. I've, had a, I've even had a um, steelhead, four pound steelhead that got in the trout and salmon magazines. And this is probably the biggest sea trout I've ever had on, on the Somersea estate. I've had him bigger down further, but that's a quality fish, isn't it? I'd love to have got it on the fly, but on the spinner, still good. Can you imagine on the fly how that would have gone? Yeah, that would have been beautiful, but I'm just so impressed with this fish. So we'll give it a few more minutes. There's no point in rushing the return. Make sure. I think it's starting to stabilise. I oh, think. I think it's you reckon he's ready to go? Yeah. Okay. What we'll do then, Bob, is we'll do some stills photography. Do, do a close up of his face on her face, right? And we'll ask John to make that. Okay. Picture. Well, I've got the camera running. The camera, the camera's running, by the way. So I'll we're filming all this. So we'll just lift the head, head up. So if I come around this way, and I'll just get the camera down so you can see the profile of her. Now, let's have a look at that. Look at that. I mean, she wants to jump off the net, doesn't she? She wants to jump over the net. I mean, she's, you can see she's ready to go. And again, press it.
Right. Such fast flow through here, isn't it? It's not easy to return it here. Is there any, any slack of water anywhere? I, I'm gonna have to just return her on the edge here, I think. Let's return her on, on the edge. Right. Now, Bob. There it is. Look at that. It's gonna stabilize her. There she is. Isn't she lovely? About eight, eight or nine pound fish, I'd say. That's what I'm guessing. She wants to go. There's the tail. Let's have a look at the tail. And I'll just show you what the tail looks like. So you can see it's different to the salmon. Much squarer, much squarer tail. And there's the finny jonah. So look, she wants to go. Now support her underneath like that. Hold her tail. And then just hold her in the flow. She'll shoot off. Now, are you getting the are you getting the images, Bob? Yeah. yeah. There she is. So she's she feels like about eight or nine pounds. She's quite a hefty fish. Got lovely markings on her. Look at her. Just look at those markings. And we'll wait for her to kick off at her pace. So we'll let her go when she's ready to go. So just keep her nose. Well, we're going to keep her nose. No, I want her to kick off. I'm not going to let go of her. She's got to kick off, and then I'm happy. So we we'll just hold her with her head down. Okay. And then look, the tail wants to go. Here she goes. Here she goes. And off she goes. She's moping. But she's going. Thank you, Bob. There she is. She's lying in the shallows. She's got a herring coming in on us. See, an underwater camera now. I can see her just lying here. She's lying in on the gravel bed. But she's strong. You can see she's strong. What a fish, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sea trout of about eight pounds, 28 inches. We'll measure up when we get back. Bob, thanks for doing that. Oh, yeah. We had a hobby, we had a hobby that just disappeared. Oh, that was just beautiful. Oh, no, no, that's one there. There's two, there's another one there. Just bear with me, there's one perched up. Yeah. Let me see if I can get him. He's perched up, there's the hobby. I've got him. My first hobby, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see his I've got him. He's beautiful, I've got his moustache. This is on the Hampshire Avon. Isn't it beautiful that my first hobby, close-ups. See if I can find him. There's a hobby sitting right on this post. There he is. Isn't he just lovely? That's just great. He's a beauty. Should we try and get closer to him? Yeah. What I'll do. Leave the rod, I'll bring it on. Okay. Had him in the air. There must be a breeding pair here. Because the other one took off, didn't it? So that is beautiful. I wonder whether we're going to get him flying. But that's wonderful. Good news, good news. Ah, oh, my first hobby. He's got a moustache, hasn't he? Yeah. Very distinctive. Are the male and female very similar or different? Yeah, right. right, I'm going to come around to see if I can get another angle from him. Here's the hobby. And I think he's beautiful. Look at him. Ladies and gentlemen, isn't that just lovely? That's a hobby perched up on a post here on the Hampshire Avon. And he's absolutely stunning. And we'll try and get a bit closer to him. But he's lovely. I'll just come out and show you the setting. There's the setting. That's just lovely. Just perched up there, we've got the hobby. Back in the frame. I've got him. He's just moved, hasn't he, slightly? Okay. Absolute beauty. Absolute beauty. But you'll get better than that. What you want to sit in this tree here. I'd love him. I'd love him to sit in the tree there. That'd be lovely. I wonder if he's going to fly for me. Do you reckon he'll fly? Do you think he'll fly for me?
He's, he's sat in there, yeah. There's a hobby perched up here on the post and there we have him. Isn't he just lovely? He's not flying, it's raining. He's just holding his ground. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer and maybe get him in flight as well. Isn't that just lovely though? Look, he's moving nicely. That's lovely. Now, oh, look at him. That's lovely. That's that's beautiful. Got him close up now. Now you can see his moustache. Right? I can see his tash, yeah. yeah. They've got very interesting tail feathers, a bit like a kestrel. Mm. You see how he spreads them? Mm. But the yeah, colours of. Tail and wing tips. Tail and wing tips. Quite long pointed wings. Have they? Mm. Well, thanks for showing that. That is just absolutely superb. It's a decent sized bird, isn't it? I mean, it's got to be what? About a foot? Long, long, longer than that. Longer than that. Okay. And what's their main food source, would you say? Mice and things? Dragonflies. Dragonflies? Dragonflies. Well, they're picking off dragonflies. Yeah, they like them. They hold dragonflies, small birds. Small but they like dragonflies. Dragonflies are small birds. Well, there we go. I'm learning something new today. There we go. It's just lovely. Beautiful. So that's lovely. Here on the Hampshire Avon, isn't it beautiful? Swallows, I think swallows. Will they? Oh, yeah. Cool. Have you seen them doing it? Yep. Four birds. I've lost him again. Hang on. I might get him in flight. There we go, I've got him. I'd love to get him in flight. Is he gonna move for us? Is he gonna fly? It's chucking it down, so hopefully these images are still going to be good. There he is. He'll stay there. Do you know what? When it's raining, is our best chance of seeing one, isn't it? Well, you'll see them better when it's. Flying off. It's coming towards us. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. There's the hobby. He's flying right through. Let's go with him. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, he's lovely. What a beauty. Look at that for a butterfly, ladies and gentlemen. Down at the Ipsley Pools Ridge. I'm getting a nice close up of a beautiful white butterfly. That's lovely. The first one that's settled for a while. I thought I'd come up and see its colours and qualities. Of the bird. It looks like a new butterfly that's just come out this year. It's just blowing around a bit with the wind, so you can see it. Look at the veins on him underneath, isn't that just lovely? And there he is, he's a real character, isn't he? Look at his head. He's staying for me, that's lovely. And there's one flying above me as well, it's coming down. And look, they're breeding. Oh, there's two there. So they're, they're either breeding or doing something. Isn't that just lovely? Look at that. Beautiful. Stunning, stunning images. And he's holding for me. I'll see if I can get any closer. That's lovely. Probably going to fly away if I get much closer.
Off he goes. That's lovely. Isn't that beautiful? It's a buzzard. Pretty certain it is. Quite a big beastie as well. Look at the size of it. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, lovely. Oh, very good size. Oh, the lovely look at that. Beautiful images. He's flying through the sky, I've got him on camera. Where's he up to? Whoa. He's flying. Still going. Oh, beautiful. That was lovely. Oh, it's a very, very big bird. And it's bigger than a buzzard. I haven't quite worked it out. That's a huge old beastie. Just perched up here. That's a lovely bird. Beautiful. I'm just wondering how close I can get to him, but there he is. He's a substantial bird. Very long. I'm just trying to work out its size, but he's, uh, yeah, he's tremendous. This is the one that's been flying near our house and trying to pick off all the pigeons that we've got in our house. That is just amazing. I'm really pleased with these images. I think he's going to fly. Here he goes. <laughs> 